Hello friends, this is Durga again from IIT University and um, as part of this video I will be covering uh, uh, the file formats of data during import using scope. It is not uh, very important to, when it comes to export because scope can understand uh, um, all the supported file formats by default and you don't need to explicitly mention the file format while exporting the data but while importing the data it is very important and we will see what uh, what formats it supports and what are the differences of each of the format it support and also i will try to cover how we can integrate um, uh, one of the file format uh, uh, one of the complex file format with hive so i am going back to the scoop user guide and uh, I am going to scoop import command directly to syntax and here in the control arguments you see these uh, four different file formats so uh, our data file is uh, when you actually store the data See, um, in JSON format. JSON stands for Java Script Object Notation and Euro and JSON are similar. Sequence file is when you want to store data in binary. Text file which is default uh, which actually stores in plain text with the comma as the field delimiter. And uh, Parquet file is um, uh, data warehouse specific uh, file. Um, you might not see the See, see this in earlier versions of uh, Scoop. Um, in the latest version of Scoop 1, which is 1.4.6, you can see this additional uh, parquet file, which is nothing but a columnar uh, uh, storage uh, of the data. It's a columnar format of uh, data storage, which is very popular uh, uh, in uh, many of the MPP platform, uh, columnar storage. And parquet is the one which can accomplish uh, and that for you storing your data in columnar format. Uh, so I will be covering Euro sequence and text file. You can play with parquet file by your own and if you have any questions you can bug me and I can answer even with respect to parquet, parquet file. But as part of the uh, video I will try um, I will try to focus on uh, the text file, sequence file and Euro data file. Um, so I am going back to my scoop code which is under in, in, in my github account which is under code hadoo pw cloudera there is a directory called scoop and there is a file called scoop demo.txt I have just added um, all the file formats I have already added in my github account but it is taking long time to sync so I am showing in my uh, uh, script itself so at the beginning itself after the first import all tables uh, which imports everything as Euro data file we have simple examples of um, uh, the text file sequence file as well as Euro data file when it comes to running the scoop import command so all these formats works well with import all tables as well as import. So when it comes to import, um, you have to specify, if you want to import as text file, you have to specify as text file, which is a default. Even if you do not specify, it will add um, as text file only, which we have seen plenty of times in the past. So I will not be running um, uh, as text file. Uh, you can uh, query the imports which I have ran earlier. So there's Hadoop FS minus cat user Cloudera scoop import and uh, departments is the table name which I want to demonstrate part star and it gives the data like this. So when you say as text file without specifying any delimiters, the field delimiter is comma line line dim, delimiter is new line character and you can see read the data in plain text. Now let me run this scoop import as sequence file. So I am writing into user Cloudera departments in this case. So let me delete if there is any. 
R M minus R user Cloudera departments and hit enter. I'm just trying to delete if there is any directory with the same name and then paste this. We are uh, loading as uh, or we are importing as sequence file into the location user Cloudera departments and hit enter. It will just finish in a moment. If you are interested in sequence file, you can explore it. Uh, but um, at a higher level, sequence file um, actually stores the data in binary format, unlike uh, human readable text format as we have seen earlier by using as text file. For the certification purpose, at least uh, uh, at this time, you don't need to understand what the sequence file is, uh, how the act actual data is represented in sequence file. You just need to know the syntax and if they ask you to load the data in binary format, you can import the data as sequence file into HDFS. Now the data is loaded and if you run Hadoop fs minus cat user cloud error departments part star there is a typo in the directory name and hit enter okay Hadoop fs minus ls user cloud error okay it has created another directory there is a directory already I thought I have removed it. Let me do this again. FS minus RM minus R user cloud error departments and hit enter. Now I am cleaning up everything and now I am running scoop import again and we will review once the import is done. Now the import is done and now let me run the cat command. What? Let me run the ls command. Okay, I think there is a problem with the import statement itself. No, I am giving only user cloud departments. Anyway, I will troubleshoot it later. Right now the data is under uh, another directory called departments. Okay, I know why it is doing I am using warehouse directory. That's why it is creating two directories okay so that's fine so what i can do is hadoop ss minus ls user cloud error departments departments and you can see the file here files and then cat on this so the reason why it has created two departments here is because i am using warehouse directory instead of target directory if I use target directory, I don't think it would have created uh, two, two directories. So I will fix the code while it is running. Uh, so you can see that uh, the data is uh, garbled. It's not in your human readable format, except few strings which, are, uh, 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 which need not be related to data directly. It is nothing but metadata. Most of the data is actually garbled. You can see few things like fitness, footwear, etc. But there is uh, all the department ids you cannot actually read in uh, human readable format so that is what sequence file is but to export data from sequence file you don't need to explicitly explicitly say anything at all uh, ex um, with respect to the file format if the delimiters are changed it's a different story in this case even though it is not clearly visible the delimiter is nothing but comma uh, if you change the delimiter, then you have to say input fields um, terminated by or in, input lines terminated by when you try to export the data. Um, um, but you don't need to touch the file format itself. You don't need to specify as sequence file when you try to do the export. Uh, I hope it is clear. Uh, and that's it about sequence file. Now we will uh, uh, run the same query. So I'm fixing this one as target directory. 
when it comes to import all tables you have to specify warehouse but when it comes to import it will be better to use target than warehouse warehouse directory will uh, will be the home directory and then it will create sub directories for each and every table that's why when i run uh, as sequence table with warehouse directory it has created two departments directories instead of one and now i am running scoop import into avro data file copy and uh, let me delete this rm minus r departments and then run this scoop import only difference is we are saying as avro data file and when it comes to um, uh, uh, file formats uh, as the avro data file uh, the fields terminated by lines terminated by uh, will not have the complete impact they might have some impact but uh, not the complete impact because when it comes to avro data file it is like javascript object notation uh, you will have column name and column value uh, for each and every record so delimiters does not have much value when it comes to uh, storing it as avro data file you will understand that apart from uh, as avro data file it is same as the previous scoop import command and while it is running um, what will happen when you actually try to run as uh, avro data file is that it will create a, a file with dot avsc extension under the directory uh, using which you have run the scoop import command in this case i have ran the scoop import command on my terminal on my vm under this directory slash home slash cloud ll and uh, once the import is done you will see a dot avsc file like this scoop import uh, it will be prefixed by scoop import uh, and then whatever table we try to import uh, will be suffixed and then dot avsc extension will be added and if you cat this file you will see the um, data model of your data so uh, you can see you know, the field names such as department ID and department name and then at towards the end you can see the table name also so this is uh, just the metadata and if you want to create a hive table on this uh, data set you need to store this metadata in HDFS and then you have to uh, provide the location of this metadata file uh, as part of your create table command and don't worry to search here and there i have added in the same file how to do this first you have to uh, copy this avsc file to user cloud era or any other location where uh, you are interested in so in this case i am copying fs minus put i am giving comp uh, absolute path here but in the uh, code i have used relative path so you need to make sure that you, you are using right path for this file home cloud era and then scoop import departments dot avsc and i want to copy into user cloud era which is H, hdfs location and hit enter now the file is copied you can run my uh, fs minus ls user cloud era and hit enter you can see the avsc file here so we should use this as part of the table properties while creating the hive table and uh, uh, also uh, as the uh, create external table specifies uh, you need to specify the row format you have to give the survey uh, class in this case this is the avro survey um, don't worry if you don't understand completely here just copy paste to validate that you, will, you are able to query this uh, from this uh, hive tables um, as part of the uh, last item in the syllabus you will see all those things in detail so uh, there are, there's a line item about Avro schema itself so I will um, uh, cover quite extensively as part of the last uh, uh, the second item uh, uh, um, that is part of data analysis in the syllabus or curriculum and then stored as input format you have to use uh, the class for the input format you have to use the class for the output format and you have to tell your hdfs location i am trying to create an external table in hive uh, and this is the hdfs location where we have the data and this is the table properties where you are specifying uh, 
um, the depart uh, sorry here you have to use scoop import underscore department dot avsc this is just the hdfs uh, url and then the location okay i think even if you remove this one it might work but it is a good practice to include uh, uh, the name node url also while uh, uh, creating the tables as part of the table properties so now i'm just copy pasting and getting into hive and also before creating the table let us see how the data is actually represented in the file for that you have to do minus cat command and uh, now there will not be two directories there will be only one directory because i have specified target directory and you can see that it is the avro schema and you can see it is similar to the json which we have seen as part of the avsc if you don't understand what is json i will highly recommend you to explore a little bit it, yeah, you will, you will yeah, it's pretty straightforward it stands for javascript object notation you are already if you are already familiar with javascript yeah, you will understand very quickly so now we have the data we have the uh, um, the schema in a dot avsc file which is copied into hdfc uh, hdfs now launching hive and then running this create table command in the hive and then paste now the table is created you can validate by running select star from departments and hit enter you can see all the records here so uh, that is it about file formats it's pretty straightforward and you are, you need to worry when you are specifying the import um, while doing the export if scoop supports those file formats uh, it can easily understand it can understand those files and uh, you don't need to specify anything while doing the export um, when it comes to the file format but when it comes to delimiters especially while using text file or sequence file you have to be familiar about uh, the impact of uh, using or not using the delimiters and you should use the right syntax and right uh, uh, um, right values uh, as your delimiters to make your process running that being said all the important topics that should be part of uh, scoop for, for the certification are covered but there are some miscellaneous things uh, like uh, scoop merge which might have some value for the certification will be covered as part of the last video um, and then we will wrap up scoop completely and then we will go to flume and uh, the scoop merge will be covered as part of the next video that being said i hope you are enjoying the content on my channel especially uh, uh, in this playlist um, to to crack the certification of cloudera certified associate spark and hadoop developer uh, if you like this video please click on the like button if you have any questions on this video or want to provide feedback you can use the comment section of the video and if you want to ask any technical questions you can go to stack overflow and ask me ask the questions tagging your scoop and i will be monitoring those and try to respond to your answers and if you want to discuss with your uh, other aspirants with other aspirants for the certification you can uh, uh, you can join my linkedin group called hadoop certifications and we can discuss on whatever topic you want uh, in the context of getting certified that being said if you have not su subscribed to my channel yet please do so you will get to see a lot more content like this over time thank you bye